What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you're all having a great day whenever you guys are seeing this video. Today I have something very, very special in store for all of you. I went to Jollibee. All right, I got some jolly delicious food and I'm very excited to get into it. Before I get into it though, I do have to say that these items are going to be the most popular items on the Jollibee menu. And if you don't know what Jollibee is, Jollibee is a Philippine based chicken known for its burgers, fried chicken, spaghetti and Filipino dishes. Before I get into this though, just because this is a Jollibee video, I feel like I need to do something very, very important. One second. Okay, I had to do it. I had to get the Nick Avocado shirt on. I had to pay tribute to the man himself, all right? Because the only reason I really know about Jollibee is because of Nick's videos. And yeah, so shout out to you, Nick. I love you. If you guys wanna see another video with me and Nick, you gotta comment down below, all right? And every time I wear this shirt, in a video, pretty much like 80% of the comments are not actually about the video, it's about the shirt. So I know all the comments will be about the shirt. Anyways, everybody, before we get into this Jollibee deliciousness, it's time for me to let you all know something very important. This video is being brought to you by by optimizers. I'm sure you all know by now how important it is for me to keep a well-regimented diet and supplementation routine so that I can keep doing food challenges on a weekly basis. This is where by optimizers comes in. By optimizer supplements have been game-changing for me over the years when it comes to optimizing my digestion. But one supplement in particular has been my favorite, Magnesium Breakthrough. Magnesium Breakthrough blends all seven forms of magnesium into one effective supplement. So you can stress less, relax more, sleep deeper, and experience more peace throughout your day. I bet you didn't know this, but when you Get all seven critical forms of magnesium, your body gets a serious upgrade from your brain to your sleep and even with pain and inflammation. Once I started supplementing with Magnesium Breakthrough, I noticed a huge increase, not just in my sleep quality, but also in my day-to-day -day energy as well. Here's the deal, everyone. Buy Optimizers is gonna hook you up with a 10% off discount when you use code ERIC10 at checkout. All you gotta do is click the link located down below in the description. Now, everyone, I think what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna break this up into two rounds. Without further ado, everybody, let's get into this Jollibee. Before we get this started, though, gotta get my uh, Diet a &W cream soda out. Where are the cream soda people at? Drop a comment down below. All right, so this is the deluxe chicken sandwich right here. That's looking good. And then, actually, I should let you all know where I got this from. So Thrillist posted an article called The Entire Jollibee Menu Ranked and I got the best items. So I got their deluxe chicken sandwich right here. So that's number five on the list. And then number two on the list were their chicken tenders. So I'm very excited about these. I don't think I had these in my Jollibee menu challenge that I did a few years ago. So I'm very excited to try those out. And fries weren't actually on the menu. Yeah, I just got these because I feel like kind of needed to get French fries. I don't know. Um, let's just pull out another item. So this is going to be their spicy deluxe. So the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich was number four. Let's see what the chicken's looking like on the inside. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, so that's what the inside looks like. Let's get into it. Okay. This is a tasty sandwich. I already knew I was gonna need this. I, I, I know, I know you're going, Eric, why are you bringing ranch out? Well, I, I might need it. I mean, I think the sandwich is good. The spice level on this, this is actually the spicy deluxe. That one's gonna be the regular. The spice level on this, on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give, oh, it's got jalapenos on the bottom. That's why we're getting a little heat. I would give it a, I'd give it a five on a scale of one to 10. The flavor is good and it's not too spicy. Not good. Tender time. Okay, they're tender. They're actually pretty good. Sometimes when it comes to tenders, they can just skimp out on the meat inside. These are actually pretty solid. Like if I had to compare them to a, like another fast food chicken tender, I would say they're like Jack in the Box chicken tenders. Now, I think it's time to move on to the original chicken deluxe sandwich right here. Mmm. That is good. For some reason, the chicken patty in this sandwich is just like super flavorful. And it's like, it's just good. Now I just gotta try these fries out. I think I had these in my challenge a few years ago, but yeah, I don't remember them being anything that spectacular. 
Yeah, those are pretty basic. Huh. Super basic. If you're gonna go here for anything in this round, I would say steer clear of the fries. Definitely get the chicken tenders. Most definitely get the deluxe sandwich. If you're a spicy person, definitely get the spicy deluxe. But the original deluxe sandwich is absolutely amazing. Now everyone, the next round is gonna have the main items and I'm very excited for it. So let's get into it. It's time for round number two. All right, everybody, so for round number two, let's just say round number two has the more unique items out of everything I'm going to be having tonight. So um, yeah, these over here are going to be gravy containers because a huge thing with Jollibee is the fact that you gotta dip your chicken in the gravy. So that's why over here I have their chicken bucket. That's what it looks like right there. I have half of it is going to be original and then the other half is going to be spicy and the chicken joy is their number one item on the list. So let's just start with the number one item. All right, I like how they have, it's already marked spicy. Wait for the crunch, wait for the crunch, wait for the crunch. Mm. It's actually not that spicy. Mm. Just check out the inside of that wing. I mean, they do not skimp on the breading with these wings or this drumstick, or whatever this was. Solid. Now it goes in the gravy. That is saucy. Right, the uh, spice has actually kind of got a bit, bit of a kick to it. I mean, it's not really horribly spicy, but yeah, it definitely has a kick. Now let's go on over to, I think this is, yeah, this is gonna be the original, not spicy. I actually think I actually prefer the spicy one. That's like a first for me. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The spicy is better. I had to try the original with some gravy. Yeah, spicy wins. Both are delicious though. I just think the spicy has got a little bit more flavor. Now I had to get this item. Actually, this is probably one of the worst. Let me look it up first. Okay, so this item came in at number nine on the list. Um, this is Jolly Spaghetti. This is one of the things I was very confused about when I first had Jolly Bee about like three years ago is why they serve spaghetti like this. The legendary Jolly Spaghetti is a medley of spaghetti noodles, ground meat, sliced hot dogs, and a somewhat sweet sauce made from banana ketchup. So yeah, this is sweet spaghetti. I don't think I liked it a few years ago and I don't think I'm gonna like it tonight, but I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> I mean, I did eat Buddy the Elves spaghetti in my last holiday cheat day video a few months ago, so maybe I'll like this. All right, let's get jolly. Yeah, I'm not feeling that for some reason. Definitely need a palate cleanse for that. Um, yeah, it's just something about the spaghetti. Just is a little, maybe it's not the spaghetti. Yeah, I just, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can do the sauce. I'm trying to remember if I liked this a few years ago. I don't think I did, but even if I did, taste buds change. Yeah, so that's gonna get a, a no from me. What I can say everybody is that I'm very much looking forward to these last items right here, which are going to be the peach mango pie and a new item, which actually isn't on Thrillist's list, but I think it's actually a new item. It's a banana lenka Lenk pie. Now the peach mango pie, I think I remember being absolutely out of this world. So I don't wanna start, I actually wanna start with the banana pie first. I like these pies because they're like the worst, most like deep fried, unhealthiest pies you can actually eat. Um, that's what makes them delicious. Now wait for the crunch on this one. Mmm. So good. I think this is the way that McDonald's pies used to be, the, the apple ones before they started doing them the way they are now. I don't think they're, I don't think they're deep fried anymore, which is like what made them really good. Mmm. Actually, it tasted like the mango pie. This might actually be the banana one. Yeah, banana. That's the inside look right there. I gotta say, this one was definitely better. But the banana one was still good. I would say my favorite thing out of everything that I've had tonight was the deluxe chicken sandwich. Absolutely amazing. But everything in general was honestly very, very good. The only things I probably wouldn't get again were the spaghetti and the fries. 
But other than that, everything was absolutely amazing. But I do want to know, have you had any of these items that I've eaten tonight? Let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down below in the comments, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video.